What's up everyone, it's Trey Vaz and GT here with another quick video. It's for the 1991 release of the LA Gear Catapult, worn by a former Utah Jazz player, Carl Malone. Um, it featured, uh, according to you know the insert, it says a clear, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right, it says clear catathane heel pad with a carbon graphite composite, which is basically what... Um, what was uh if that little ball on the bottom of the shoe once you hit the ground it will light up um then above that it had the uh, high density polyurethane motion control device and uh they had it said molded ava heel counter and had a full grain leather upper and um it said the uh the little ball <coughs> excuse me the thing that that's sticking out underneath this shoe it was called a, that was the uh, clear catathane bushing. And when, like I said before, when you would push down on it, it would light the shoe up. Had like a catapult heel spring in that, that back area as well. Um, now, they called the light an ambient air cavity. So, but uh, on, the, uh, on the insert, it says uh, carbon graphite composite, so... I don't know. I'm assuming the ambient air cavity is, uh, you know, just, I guess it's the clear area around the back. And then the uh, the carbon graphite composite is what lights it up. Anyway, this shoe, uh, pretty dope piece of history, shoe, uh, sneaker history right here from L.A. Gear. Uh, I think it was uh, a pretty original shoe from L.A. Gear. L.A. Gear was known to take some styling cues from... From other brands, I know they they did some Jordan Four knockoffs, Five knockoffs, um, and uh, these I couldn't. I mean, they they seem to be pretty pretty original. I mean, it in my opinion, maybe there's some styling cues here from the uh, the Nike uh, Solo Flight, but not really. Um, I think uh, it's it's a pretty original looking shoe. And uh, all around, it was very comfortable. You're probably not going to be able to find wearable pairs. I haven't been able to. Um, and I own a, I purchased a couple pairs of these. Just a uh, very, very nice looking shoe. Came with the, uh, all the LA gears used to come with that little keychain. That was like a license plate. And uh, most of the time it would say LA gear on it. And underneath it would say the Golden State, California. On this pair it said the Catapult. The catapult, uh, I think the retail was like a hundred and ten dollars for this shoe, and uh, it was. Uh, I mean, that's expensive for a pair of LA gears. You know, even back then, you have to think about the competition. I mean, you had Nike Air Jordans, Reebok pumps. Um, you had Puma, Adidas. LA Gear wasn't really seen as an athletic company. It was seen more for like uh like fashion. Like, you know, they had like endorsers with like Paul Abdul and Michael Jackson and uh you know, actresses and actors, not really uh sports players. I mean you did have Kareem Abdul Jabbar, but he was past his I mean, he was past his prime. You had Joe Montana, um and you had Carl Malone. So but anyway, this is the shoe. Um, for those of you that have never seen it before, I hope you enjoy the pictures. For those of you that haven't seen it in a while, hope this brings you back. Um, stay tuned for more videos, and I have the black and purple colorway going to come up soon. Thank you.